depth at the defensive end position. You got a lot of folks that can play at that spot, don't you? Yes, sir. We do. Uh, we have a lot of people right now who are very versatile in their attributes and what they can bring to the team. Uh, in terms of D-line, guys like Combo, me, Latroy, Lewis, Derek Barnett, uh, Kyle Phillips, Daryl Taylor. So we have a lot of uh, versatility in defensive end. Coach Shoup said he thought you were one of the most underrated players in the SEC. That's a nice compliment to you, isn't it? Uh, definitely, man. But you know me, I take everything, you know, with just a grain of salt. I obviously, you know, I've been doing some good things on the field, you know, in terms of staying consistent. But I also have to focus on different aspects of the game. Just make sure I'm putting in the work every day like everybody else on the team. Corey, have you shown him something you think, or, or you know, to make him say that, or you think his defense and you know, what he's doing just fits your skill set so well that maybe you're playing better than, than you have the previous? Honestly, man, I just come in day to day. I'm just working hard. I've been doing the same thing since my freshman year. So I mean, it's just I feel like it's just an abundance of me just putting the time in, and you know, God just working His hand and stuff. So. Did what do you think you've developed, though? I mean, it seems like you obviously got a lot more production down the stretch last year. It seemed like you had a really good spring, even though you were missing a lot of practice for class. How, how, where do you feel like you've gotten better, basically? What's improved in your game in the last I definitely year? definitely improved, well, just thinking of what could happen pre-snap, knowing what could happen, what can't happen. Honestly, just reacting to the ball, just playing football. I feel like I'm more I'm smoother than that. The but depth you all have on the defensive line, how much of a difference can that make in the fourth quarter to some of these close games when people aren't playing too many snaps? It definitely can make a difference from time to time, but whoever's out there is going to get the job done at the very end of the day. He said last week that by the end of the season you would be kind of a no nationwide. Is there any pressure to live up to the kind of high standard that he's setting for you this season? No, not really, because although it's a compliment, like I said, I'm just coming to work every single day. So I appreciate his enthusiasm and his confidence in me, but at the same time, just for working every day. What has what just working with him done for your game, working with Coach Shoup? Uh, Coach Shoup is a real direct guy, and like he said, he's not real high on the swag meter, but at the same time, he's a very <laughs> good defensive coordinator, and the blitz packages and everything he talks about, and really his culture versus scheme type thing to the point where what we're going to do is going to be better than what you drop on the paper. How we're going to play, how we're going to be as a defense, it's going to look better than whatever you have drawn up on the paper. And that mentality, I believe, is going to be the difference for us. You haven't Obviously. played a game yet, but do you, are you confident this will be a more aggressive defense than it has been in the past? Most definitely. What have you kind of seen Phillips early in preseason? It seems like he's had a strong camp so far. Yeah, he's definitely had a strong camp. Uh, he's just been running to the ball. Kyle Phillips is a gazelle. I've never seen someone run to the ball faster than him. So I've definitely been looking forward to him, you know, helping us and doing what he can do on the field. How easy has the transition been transitioning to what Coach Shoup wants to do compared to what you've done in the past? Uh, it's all going in the same direction, whether it's been Coach Strip, Coach Shoup. Everybody's pushing in the same direction to just run to the ball, get great effort, and just play team defense. Corey, how much are you and guys like LaTroy and Derek trying to get Kongba ready to go so he can – he can help you guys. How much are you guys trying to show him practice expectations and this kind of thing? You know, it's definitely a new thing because he's coming from Juco and everything. It's not the same thing in terms of expectations day in and day out. But we've been working with him, and he's been showing promise, so we're just working. You saw that speed chart on the Snapchat. What, what was that all about with the miles per hour? I mean, when did they do that? 